Greetings, Dave Wright, Anonymous here. We are at class right now and um, doing some exercises for the shoulder. One of the very, very important things about sword play, about weapon work, is keeping your sword arm in good shape. Um, exercises like push-ups, Turkish get-ups, we, we, we push those forward a whole lot. This is an exercise from a, an art called Bagua Zang, and it's very, very good for all kinds of stuff, but it's especially good for shoulder sensitivity and control. And you don't need a whole lot of equipment for it. All you need is a basketball or a, a similar type of inflatable ball. Beach ball will work, although the lighter it is, the more difficult this exercise becomes, and you'll see why here in a moment. So, give you a little demonstration here first. So, you're going to start <clears throat> in Dubak Rider. You're going to hold the ball in front of you here. We're going to take it out to the side. We're going to lean back, bring the ball up over our head. Hand goes upside down. We drape our body over, and then we bring the ball down here by our center and bring it right through again. <clears throat> okay? And then we can reverse it by bringing it around that way, coming out, bringing it up, and right there. And of course, do it on both sides. So if we go up, and you can see, you can keep it closer or further away from you for different feeling and different type of uh, workouts. The real greatness about this exercise is it's not weight, okay? What it is is balance. And I, you don't grip onto the ball, you just let it set into your palm so that if it goes over to the side even just a little bit, it'll fall right off. Okay, so <clears throat> how to start going? We get out into Dubak Rider here. We'll have Ryan go. Now, it's really good for sword play and martial arts because it helps you focus not only on the hand, as John was saying, um, <clears throat> but also um, with the body, and the body is the most important part. So, as we go off this way, <clears throat> yep, keep going, you're going to take it over the head, lean the body back, and then come around. Now stop. You see the hand has to be right underneath the ball here, it can't be at any angle. And in order for that to happen without your shoulder shrugging, you have to lean the body. Okay, continue. Coming through there. Now, if you have your arms straight like he did, <laughs> it's much more difficult to tuck it in on the other side. <clears throat> okay, so now go the opposite way. Oh boy. Come underneath. All right. There you go. up in, in, in Dubek Rider <clears throat> each time, okay? So as I'm going around like this, <clears throat> the ball is not really rotating or anything, it's just setting on my palm like that. And like I said, you can take, take it to different different places for different feeling and different different muscle groups, all of that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> the great thing about it is, is it trains really good natural arm motion and how to integrate that motion in with your body. Okay? It's a good core exercise. Um, <clears throat> you, you, it, it allows you to flow through things and when you're using with your weapon, these are the types of motions that um, you may be trying to be forced into, or you're trying to force somebody else into, and this type of shoulder, uh, this type of shoulder control is going to keep your shoulder from getting injured. From. So, go ahead and give that a shot. There, um, do it on both sides, both arms, um, <clears throat> even if you're if you only favor one arm or anything like that, because you're going to get benefit on both sides of the body because you definitely do want to be able to do this um, on either side. Okay. 
All right, so just a little uh, little exercise for you guys to try. Thank you, Ryan, for uh, helping me demonstrate. Thanks to all of you for stopping by. Have a great day. Happy savory.